Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I thought today we would do a do, a do a do, <laughs> do a bit of a gel printing. Um, and I'm hoping to be able to transfer some images, black and white images, onto our print. So let's start right away. Now, those of you that know me, know that this I'm relatively new to this I'm just trying to pick up anything that's on the plate but doesn't appear to be that much there so okay so let's start with a fairly light background for our black and white from what I understand this needs to be your image needs to be laser printed so I don't know what you do with an inkjet printer um, I guess you have to take your photos or whatever you're trying to print to a print shop or, you know, staples or whatever and try to get, uh, yeah, them printed off on a laser printer. So I'm just going to use some Liquitex Basic. Um, I'm not happy with using, you can use the craft paint and I've been using the craft paint. But I haven't been that crazy about it, so I find it really hard to uh, not have streaks from the brayer in it. And I find it a little bit easier when I'm using the uh, thicker paints. So. Give that a shot. This is so tactile. I mean, the smooth, rubbery feeling under your hand is so, I don't know, relaxing. Sort of almost healing. Like I can actually feel my body relaxing as I rub this. I close my eyes yeah it's nice it's nice let's pull that okay that's pretty well exactly what I want some nice yellow and orange in the background now I'm going to let that dry because I believe you need to have your original print dry before you bring in your black and white. So I'm going to come back when this is dry and we'll continue on. Okay, so our first print is dry. And that it only takes maybe five minutes. Now, I understand this layer of black should be quite thin. So I don't want to overdo it. Might be a little too thin. This is my struggle, trying to uh, not have lines in my paint. Okay, bring our image down. I'll have to use this side at one point too, a little koala bear and dog, puppy dog. You want something that is quite contrasting between the black and the white. Now, normally I would bring the brayer in to put more pressure, but I want to use this other side. So I'm just going to use my fingers for now. If you don't want to keep the other side, you know, the opposite side, 
um, go in with your brayer. It's just faster. Okay. That should be, that should be good. Oh, I'm hoping we get a good print from that. Now, I can come in with my brayer. Just easier to pre put pressure down with the brayer. Okay, that should be good. Here's hoping. Nice. See, that's a nice print. Now you could do all kinds of things with that. I uh, printed off a black crow onto some tissue paper through my printer and I'll put a link in the description on how to uh, make your own ephemera or decoupage so you can see how I did that. Now I could see a crow here, um, some stamps maybe. Yeah, all kinds of things. So that's cool. Just going to leave this as it is. I don't mind that bit of grunge there. Now let's try another image just with one color. I'm thinking maybe uh, let's try with a not primary red. I have a magenta here. Just have to find it. There's only so many colors here and I always pick up the wrong one. Purple. Red oxide. Blue. Oh. Huh. <laughs> okay. Quit aquadone magenta. I don't know why I put that down. <laughs> okay, let's give that a shot. Clean my brayer off. I hope it picks this black up too. That would be cool. Okay. Here I go into dreamland. <laughs> it does really feel nice under your hands. It's like rubbing if you had a big slab of jello firm jello and rubbed the top of that that's what it feels like okay nice now hopefully i see we picked up a little bit of the uh the leaf that we did previously Okay, let's try this lady here. Yeah, let's try her. I'm not sure about this because this is more of a gray than a white, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. So this is uh, Job Printing 101 Phase 2. <laughs> I'm 
We're not quite up to gel printing 201. The trick for me is getting this paint down before it starts drying and not having too many lines. Okay. okay. I'm not saving this side, so I'm just going to come in with my brayer. Fingers crossed. Oh, a nice sheet did come out. Now let's hope we get a nice print from that. So I've been playing with these gel prints. I probably have 50 sheets of gel prints to work with now. So I'm thinking maybe after this video, I could do a video on what to use these gel prints for. I could see doing a collage, maybe a master board for journaling, maybe just a journal page. Okay, that should do it. Lovely. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I like that. So, I'm going to get out my stamps and we'll do one or two with uh, some stamping. Okay, so I was playing around while I had the camera off and I decided I wanted to bring in some iridescent bronze from Golden Paint, which is um, a nice, it's a nice paint. <laughs> it's a nice color. It's uh, metallic looking. I'm going to drop in a bit of raw sienna just for the fun of it. <laughs> and some magenta, put it back, don't magenta. See what we get. And the idea is I want to pull this black up off of my plate too. And you have to work fairly quickly because this the acrylic paint dries quite fast. I mean, you don't have to rush, but you can't be sipping a cup of coffee. Okay. Let's hope we get a nice pull here. And I'm rubbing a lot because I want to clean my my plate off. For the most part, anyway. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I don't know if you can pick up on that with the camera. It's a little bit dark. But yeah, I like that. I'm actually going to let that dry and then we will actually come in and do some stamping. Okay, the objective here is to build this up a little bit. 
So I'm going to lay out some white paint, some white acrylic paint, and do a bit of stamping with this bubble wrap. Just to add some more points of interest. Okay. Then we can come in with a stamp. All kinds of things you can do with this. I mean, you can do what we're doing today wait for a day or so, and then come in and uh, add to it. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> I think I'll add some more. More ink. Maybe coming into the painting. You could add words to this script. All kinds of things. But for today, for today, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, we can also add some acrylic paint to our butterfly there and bring in another colored but butterfly. Let's give that a shot and see if it works. Let's try um, this deep green. Now I'm just spreading it out on my... Uh, sheet that I use to clean my brayer. So I can get in some ink on my stamp. Well, I don't know how much ink it picked up. I think I need a little bit more. But I'm just going to print that to show you or stamp that, I guess, to show you uh, not a good impression, but to show you you can use other colors. As long as you clean off your stamp um, right after you finish using it with the um, acrylic paint, you're good to go. So, yeah, just some ideas for you today. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, maybe picked up a tip or two. It's fun doing the black and white transfers. Um, you, there's a lot you could do with that. But uh, meanwhile, you folks have a fabulous day. And if you find it in your heart, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.